Chris. New car parts. Woo! Oh, more. Oh, yeah. Dope. Are those mantle things? Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know what that means. I have no idea either. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. If that's you, don't worry, you're not the only one. There are several types of machines used to bend a tube, and we make lots of stuff with lots of bends, like intakes, charge pipes, and exhausts, and they all benefit from mandrel bending. This is where the name mandrel bending comes from, because this thing is a mandrel. The end of the mandrel looks kind of like a rattlesnake's tail, and these mandrel balls are connected by ball joints. It also matches the internal diameter of the tube, so it can simultaneously support the shape while following the various radii as it's bent. And this is our big old CNC tube bender. There are a few other key components for this type of bender. First, the mandrel rod that of course holds the mandrel. The clamp die secures the tube against the bend die and clamps firmly to draw the tube with it as the process takes place. Next is the bend die. This piece determines the radius of the bend. The bend die rotates and the pressure die or follower is what actually applies the pressure against the tube to bend it around the radius of the bend. Another super important bit is the wiper die. It's positioned on the inside just before the line of tangency and against the bend die to fill in this space and prevent wrinkling. These are all examples of bends that we can make on our mandrel bender, but not all benders use a mandrel or even function in the same way. The types of bends you'll usually see at a typical muffler shop or even with some OEM components uses what's known as a pressure or a crush bender. It's a cheaper solution and it gets the job done, but like with most things, you get what you pay for. Some parts are similar. They both use specific dies to hold the tube in place and determine the specific radius of the bend. But the lack of a mandrel and more simplified machinery produces bends with obvious differences and deformations, like wrinkling on the inner diameter, flattening on the outer diameter, and kinks at the beginning and end of the bend. When seen side by side, it's pretty obvious how a mandrel bent piece is more valuable by offering consistent quality and flow, plus a much nicer appearance. Most of you won't ever actually use a CNC mandrel tube bender on your own, but at least you now know what it means and why it matters when you're shopping for parts.